Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Moms with Yarn. My name is Sharon, known as Bronx Knitter One on Ravelry and Bronx Knitter on Instagram. Welcome. Did you get caught in the rain today? I did. I got caught in the rain today. I tried not to get caught in the rain today, but there was no getting away from it. We got the tail end of Hurricane Matthew, so... It was really the tail end because it wasn't raining hard. There was a little bit of wind, but it wasn't that bad. But still, it was dark. It was gloomy. It felt like nighttime in here. And I was going to record during the, the time, the short period of time when the sun came out. But it came through. It was a mess. And I couldn't get the light just right. And before you knew it, it was pitch black dark outside. And so here I am. So, there's a couple of things going on. Number one is the Before I Go Cal. That is a sock design I put up. And I have to apologize because the pattern that is online and available is not the final version of the pattern. So if you find any mistakes in it, please uh, contact me by message on Ravelry. Um... The sock, as you remember, I made in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And one is, one is um, variegated, one is self-striping, and one is in a solid. And... I hope somebody knits my sock for the cow because I would hate to be the only one. I am making another set, another pair of socks um, because I should participate in a cow that I started and that's precisely what I plan to do. So, yep. That's variegated. That's self-striping, and that's solid, and I need to pick out my next skein because I plan to be finished by the time the cal is finished, so that will be that. The other thing is, there is a prize for participating in the cal, and it is a skein of yarn, which is at the moment missing. Here it is. Pardon me. If you participate in the cow and you finish your socks by random number generator, I will pick a winner for this skein of Skano 100% Superwash Merino in the Lawngrin colorway. Has not lots of nice, pretty fall colors. It's squishy, soft, and um, you it could be yours. So go ahead and knit those socks. And enjoy the socks, gift them, wear them. We did have one member of the group who said she's going to make hers toe up. So hopefully you'll see what that looks like since you've seen it in every variation of yarn types that I could find in my own stash. And uh, that'll take care of that. So, the other thing is... Are you going to Rhinebeck? I'm going to Rhinebeck. I hope to see some of you there. I know that there's some people that talk to me on Ravelry and people that I talk to on Instagram. And I finally want to be able to see your faces. So if you see me, introduce yourself. Say hello because I want to know who you are. I want to match the person to the screen name and, you know, we could be friends. So the other thing that's going on right now is that um, I joined the Fiber Nymph on her 90% knitting, in her 90% knitting group, the Finish Your Whips Cal, and I entered three projects. The first one is in my Stitched by Sasha bag, which I won from Wolf Farms 
uh, for a sweater cow that I participated in. And I am making Purple Plexi by Casa Pinka, also known as Bronwyn, I believe. And I am using Dirty Water Dye Works in the drizzle colorway, which is gray, and the bundle of blues. They're all pretty nice, but the thing that I wasn't expecting, you know, they're all, these two are, well, three of them are tonal, and the other two are solid, and <laughs> it wasn't the look I was going for. So I'm working on Purple Plexi, and the last time you saw it, I was all the way down here at the, where the stitch marker is jiggling. Can you see the stitch marker? I had one and a half repeats, one and a half bands of color done. And I couldn't remember which order I was doing them, so I made all this way. And I got to the end, and I noticed that this section is shorter than these sections. But the instructions don't say anything about how to go on. And I also noticed that my stitch count was off. So I knew that it wasn't right. But I said, oh, well, maybe something different is supposed to happen. But I'm telling you, I am not well known for reading my patterns all the way through. Oops. And not, but I had already started to bind off. And I read the instructions after I saw this little short section and I said something else is supposed to happen. And I'm not going to bind off until after I send a message to Casapinka and ask her what is going on. This stuff smells so good. And ask her what's going on. I'm also not thrilled with my color choices and I'm not thrilled with having to weave in all these ends either. Oh yeah. So if I was going to do this again, even if I was still going to use the gray, I would use some wild and crazy variegated yarn for all five rows of this special stitch that she has in the pattern so that it would give a little bit more, less ends to weave in and more interest to the shawl. But I wanted this to be my Rhinebeck shawl and if I don't get the correct, I'm going to have to rip out this whole color band. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Anyhow, that is project number one. I'm, I'm, I'm sorely disappointed because I didn't expect when I finished that big shawl to have this a, almost a whole skein of yarn left either. So, yikes. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to see if the, there's some kind of somebody who did some math who can tell me what I did wrong or tell me where the pattern went wrong because I honestly don't think it was me. This is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Sorry it's printed in black and white but because I never use the colors that are in the pattern I prefer to have my patterns printed in black and white. So this goes back in the bag. That was number one work in progress that I had entered into the Fiber Nymph, Fiber Nymph uh, Lisa, into her Knit Your Whips Cal. That's done on a US size 6. The yarn is the Lillian base. It's 100% superwash merino. Very bouncy, very springy, very nice yarn. Um, I would use it again, but I could think of a couple of yarns that are just like it, but not right off the top of my head. So, 
I enjoyed the knit. It was very simple. It was a little bit bore boring at times because there was a lot of garter stitch, but it's a good pattern. And I think I would like it or have more interest in it if maybe I had used some of my hand spun yarn uh, for the variegated sections. Either which way. It's a scarf. It's beautiful. It's big. I love it. I will wear it. And there's a chance that I will make it again. The other thing I entered into the Fiber Nymph um, Knit Your Whips is my Torrent shawl I mean sorry ty typhoon typhoon that's what it's called I don't think there's a good picture of it other than this one typhoon by Josh Ricks it is also a paid for pattern on Ravelry and it is in my Clementine Originals Christmas bag. I am using some unknown black yarn that was in my stash. And some, here we go. Oh, I love this shawl. I don't know why I didn't finish it other than the fact that the bind off row, um, the, the last part of the pattern is a point by point, um, is done point by point. The edge is point by point. And I have done one and I have the whole rest of the 400 stitches to go oh yeah, that's why it didn't get finished and I started knitting it right at the end of Josh's knit along and I was uh, it was two the the deadline was two days away and I was at that point and I just couldn't go on I don't know what came over me maybe it was too much pressure the black yarn is, I don't know what, some, some yarn that was in my stash. And the multicolor is mustache yarn in the Candy Crush colorway, which she, when she saw my shawl, she called it vintage. But I, I, it, it was too pretty to make socks out of, so I decided to go with this Torrent, um, Typhoon, why do I keep calling it Torrent? The Typhoon shawl. So that's what that is, and I, I, I could have been finished a hundred times, and every time I didn't know what I wanted to knit, I would see this in the bag and I would still pass it up. I love this shawl. There is nothing unpretty about it. I love it. So now that I'm in this cal, hopefully I will finish it because you really... I can't stand having it on the needles and not finishing it for no good reason whatsoever. So that's going back in the bag, but it won't be in there for long. And then the, the last thing is in this bag that was gifted to, be, to me by T.B. McCarthy, Tracy. Um, there's no tags inside, so I think maybe she might have made this bag herself. I'm not sure. Very pretty. Nice colors. So the last thing I'm working on is, and the, it, this is the last thing I entered on the Fiber, Nymph, Fiber Nymphs 10%, I'm 90% uh, knitting group, is the Skew Socks. And the skew socks are by Lana Holden. I'm using a Gales Art sock blank, a single sock blank. And it looks like this. And the skew sock looks like this. It is still striping, 
Let's make this sock has a funny shape. And I don't know if I'm on the left foot or the right foot, but it's a free pattern on Knitty. I'm using my sock rackets size 1, 2.25, um, up to the ankle part, which is this part that's sticking out over here. And I tried the sock on, so even though it looks narrow, it, and it's really not that stretchy, but it looks narrow, but it fits. It goes on nicely. I am starting the ankle so I can start the heel. And if these socks are too big, I don't know what I'm going to do. And if they're too small, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I like the way the striping pattern is going. Um, these socks, uh, the plain vanilla socks was not going to appeal to me. But I really like how this looks. And it's nice seeing a sock blank in action, don't you think? So that was the third thing I entered into the 90% Knitting Groups Knit Your Whips Cal. And that is really all I have because I've been trying to help a friend decide um, what she wants to make next. And she asked me for help finding a pattern. And I told her I would, but you know, when you're helping somebody else find a pattern, you're meanwhile tagging all the ones that you want to make yourself. So my problem is that I have some yarn and I don't have a pattern to go with it because, wait till you see this. It's getting blown out, but this is red, orange, It's a bright red orange color. It is too loud for words. It is Hazel Knits in the Lively DK. It's called Big Wheel. It's a limited edition. It is at least 825 yards. Bam. In your face. In my face. What am I supposed to make with this? Can I be Leia from Star Wars? <laughs> what am I supposed to make with this bright color? I don't know. I don't know. I saw a pattern on Knitty that I really like. It's a short sleeve cabled cardigan. Well, elbow length sleeves. And I was like... I would love that, but not necessarily in this color. And then I'm thinking about a hooded cardigan. And then I'm thinking that I don't want a sweater that's going to be relegated to house wearing only or to go grocery shopping in. I want a sweater that I can wear to work, a sweater that I can, you know, sport with pride. Like all the rest, of, like my like my Tap and Z sweater that I'm wearing. Can you see my Tap and Z sweater? Um, I want something that's really wearable. So if you have any pattern suggestions, would you please let me know? Thank you very much. So, that's it. I know I stumble bumbled over my words today. I was in a hurry because I meant to podcast earlier. <coughs> but here I am, and it's done. Another one in the bag, episode 89. So if you're looking for me on YouTube, one person had a little confusion, talk to me about it. There's two Moms with Yarns channel. One is um, old episodes with me and Tracy together. And the other one is a circle with green socks in it. And that one would be me. So um, that should clear up confusion about that. And hopefully next time when you see me, I'll have some finished pro projects done. And hopefully I'll see you at Rhinebeck. That's Saturday, the 15th. I don't know if I'll be there when the gates open, but I'll be there looking for you. So until I see you, hopefully next weekend, uh, happy knitting.